Hi, welcome to What's Up Marcy. It's Marcy Brockman. Hi, welcome to Book Talk Sunday. It's a little late. I actually only have an hour of Sunday left, but it's been a weird day. Anyway, so um, it suddenly occurred to me that of all of the several months of Book Talk Sundays that I've been doing, that I didn't do the book that led me to my editor and very good friend, Craig Lancaster. So um, whenever I'm looking for something new to read or listen to, I like to do a lot of books on audio, on audiobook. Uh, my Audible account has lots of titles in it. Um, sometimes if I can't, if I don't have a recommendation for a book, I just go on gut instinct with the title and I find a quirky title or an interesting title that just sticks out to me. And I don't even read the description. I just download the book and listen to it. And such was the case with 600 Hours of Edward. I thought, 600 Hours of Edward? What a weird title that is. So I didn't read the description. I just downloaded it and I listened to it and I fell in love with Edward Stanton. This guy, the main character of this novel, just stole my heart. So um, here is the book cover. I had to take a picture of it off the internet because the audio book is, actually I could have just taken it off Audible, but whatever. So this is uh, 600 Hours of Edward, read, written by C Craig Lancaster. So I loved this novel. The Craig Lancaster is a 39 year old man who's on spectrum with Asperger syndrome and um, OCD. And uh, he lives in Montana and he's in this crazy rigid schedule where he, um, he tracks all sorts of things. Like he writes down the weather in Billings, Montana every single day, whether he's in Billings or not. Um, he wakes up at exactly 7.38 a.m. and he has his therapy at exactly 10 a.m. and he will not start at a minute early. And he watches every night at 10 o'clock, he watches on VHS tape, uh, recorded episodes of the TV show Dragnet. Um, he has a, a very interesting relationship with his mom and a kind of adversarial, um, superficial, cold relationship with his dad. And uh, luckily his, his parents have some money and they bought him a house and kind of take care of his needs. But he's extremely rigid and has very specific ideas about things. And um, instead of like showing up at somebody's house and complaining, he'll write complaint letters, letters of complaint. And he won't mail them because I guess through therapy, he's figured out that that's not so cool that you just can't rail off on people all the time. So he writes these letters and then sticks them in a file and it gets the, the energy and the, the emotion out without getting him in trouble. And, and so he, you think he's, he's comfortable living his little prescripted, uh, very regimented life of the same, but he's okay with that. Uh, and then this single mom neighbor moves in across the street and sort of throws his whole world into a tizzy. And uh, you start to see him opening up and he starts a little online dating and that goes a little weird and is heartfelt and hilarious. And, um, and you start to fall in love with Edward through his idiosyncrasies and his repetitive rituals and his dragnet episodes. And, uh, and, and then the relationship with his dad um, is just sometimes awkward and angry and and but you can always tell that there's something under there that not nobody is saying and and then and then the magic is over and then the, the novel ends and and Craig's got uh, this wonderful way of of creating characters that are human and flawed and real and deep and don't always do or say the right thing and don't always do or say exactly what they mean to say and still keep keep at it until they get it right and he just knows precisely where to delve deeper and how to handle it and um and i just i fell in love with the character i fell in love with the whole story um Here's, uh, and then, you know, I could go on. And then um, 
I was just searching through Audible's catalog after the book was over and I was just like, I miss a missing Edward. And then I realized that it was only the first novel in a three part series. And I was, I can't even tell you how over the moon I was. I was so thrilled. And so there were 600 hours of Edward. I'm going to angle this down. And then, whoop. and then there was Edward Adrift. And then there was Edward Unspooled. And I did all three as audiobooks so I could get the continuity of the voice and, and so on. And uh, they were just fabulous. And I, I kind of wish that there were more Edward books, but you know, Craig's on to other things. Um, and he's written a lot of other novels. Um, and I started a few and then I was in the middle of writing my own memoir and I really didn't do a whole heck of a lot of reading of other people's things. So um, he has a lot of stuff. Um, sitting here in my Kindle account waiting to be read or continued. Um, so anyway, so I'd finished the third novel. I'd finished Edward Unspooled. And then um, I, I typed on Facebook, you know, I just read three of the most, the greatest novels. And I love this guy, Craig Lancaster, and he's such a great novelist. And, you know, I've never heard of him before, but we all have to put him on the map because he's so great. And then I get a message back from my friend, Lisa. And she says, I actually know Craig Lancaster. My, one of my best friends, Elisa, is Craig's wife. And Elisa grew up here on Long Island where we live. And I was like, you're kidding. And so I forget whether she made an introduction or I just dove in and friended him on Facebook. It's probably what happened. I'm kind of brazen like that. And, uh, and we became friends on Facebook. This has got to be two years ago, maybe, maybe more. And, um, and, you know, it wasn't any, any huge back and forth, but, but we were commenting on each other's things and, you know, slowly, slowly getting to know each other as, as social media and never met you in real life kind of people can be. And then I started writing my memoir last fall and by like mid-December, I had my first draft done and I thought, well, now I need an editor. And I have no idea how to find an editor or how to find an editor I like or I trust. And Permission to Land wasn't just some generic novel or generic nonfiction. This is my memoir. This is my life. This is my soul on paper. And it's got to be somebody I trust to not only edit it well, but to handle the content and my heart well. And so I messaged Craig Lancaster through Facebook, instant message. And I just said, I just written this memoir and does he know how I can find an editor? And his response was, well, I'll do it. <laughs> I was like, you kidding me, really? Okay. So he sent me all this information and we agreed on a price and um, I sent him my, my, um, manuscript and then held my breath for quite a while, a few weeks. And, uh, and then he got back to me in January and um, his words were, congratulations, you wrote a book. And I, I was so relieved. And um, he, we became friends through that. You know, he got to know me better than almost anyone uh, at all until that point. Um, and now because the book is released to the world, the world knows me just as well to get used to that. But what he did for me is what he did for Edward Stanton and what he did for the other characters and what he does for all of the characters he creates. He asks just the right questions to delve in, to dive in it just the right way to flesh out and create a nuanced imperfect, human, relatable, flawed, lovable character. And, um, and he asked exactly the right questions at every juncture throughout my manuscript and helped me create a better journey for myself and for my readers. And the book wouldn't be what it is without him. Um, and the world needs to know that. <laughs> Yesterday I was painting at uh, Masks on Main Art Crawl in Huntington Village right here on Long Island. And 
um, I was also selling my books at the same at the table, and my husband came with me and was helping manage all of that. And um, and so many people were like, "Oh, did you self publish?" And and I said, "I independently published." And yes, I found my own editor, and I explained like the abridged version of this story about how I met Craig and 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 how he helped with the book. And it just suddenly I realized that I had to talk about the Edward books for Book Talk Sunday. Like, why hadn't I done this before? That didn't make any sense. So if you, if you like books with memorable characters, um, real human, phenomenal stories, uh, you really have to try, try, Craig, try Craig's books. He's really a wonderful author. And he's spent over 20 years as a journalist and, and done all sorts of interesting careers. And he's sort of been everywhere on the planet, I think. Um, and uh, he's really a very good man. And we became friends throughout this whole process, and I cherish our friendship immensely. Um, so Craig Lancaster, the Edward series, Edward, 600, here it is, 600 Hours of Edward, and Edward Adrift, and then Edward Unspooled. Um, and there are a lot more books. A lot more books, but we're talking about these three now. Maybe we'll talk about some more some other day. Anyway, so this is Marcy. Thank you for being with us, being with me. There's no one else here. Being with me for Book Talk, Book Talk Sunday on What's Up, Marcy. And um, I look forward to see, hearing your questions and answering your questions for the new Tuesday evening at 8.30 in the afternoon series that we, 8.30 in the evening series that we're doing, that I'm going to start doing this week called Ask Me Anything. And I literally mean ask me anything. You want to ask me how I got a, an editor. You want to ask me anything about your personal life or any questions you have or how to find this or how to do that or what you want to know about X, Y, or Z, you know, just let me know. Ask. I have a few questions ready for Tuesday. Um, but I'm doing it as a live on Facebook, on my channel, on, uh, on my uh, personal page on Facebook at Marcy527. So come find me live and ask me anything you want. Um, if you want to ask me a question privately ahead of time, um, instant message me through Facebook and I will answer your question. Um, and if I can't answer the question, I will find, I will research it and find a way to answer your question or find you the person who can or do my best to do that. So that's starting this Tuesday, the 29th of September at 8.15. Um, hopefully I see a lot of you there. All right, thanks for joining us for Book Talk Sunday. I keep saying us. Thanks for joining me for Book Talk Sunday. Have a good night.